My name is Dale Pierce. I am the Accessibility Advisor and Assistive Technologist at Lakeland College. I am also a former member of the Canadian Forces, serving 20 years. I retired 23 years ago, and at that time, I did not know anything about SCAN, the Second Career Assistant Network. If I had, it would have helped with the transition from the military to civilian life. I'm here to talk to you today about a program that's developed by Lakeland College. It is an online resource that is there to assist members retiring and their families transition from the military to civilian life. I know that if this was available to me, it would have helped. Now this is my story. It's not one of injury, but it's one of transition. When I finally decided to take my release, I was in Germany. So my release started there, but well, my last base was going to be CFP Halifax, better known as HMCS Staticona. The day that I went in to sign my final release papers, I felt a little bit of emotion, some elation, some fear, but it was all a good thing. Then it was over. I signed it, I got my golden handshake and a thank you for serving my country, and ushered out of the office and the orderly room at HMCS Stad. As I walked out of the gates for the last time in uniform, it hit me like a hurricane. I was no longer a member of the Canadian Forces. I stood there alone, wondering, what am I going to do next? As I looked at Godigan Street, I said, wow, I know this street well. I looked across and there was Jokomo's Tavern, a place that I used to hang out with my shipmates on a Friday afternoon having lunch salt cod, pork scraps, and new boiled potatoes, and probably a frosty to go with it. But here it was, the end of an era. My time had come to an end. What was I going to do next? Well, I looked at my wife, and I said to her, I said, honey, what am I going to do? She had no answer for me. So that just led to a whole feeling of dread and apprehension. Now, what was I going to do? Here I was, my last day in uniform, wondering, what do I do? Where am I going to go? No employment prospects, nothing available. One minute I had identity, I was Petty Officer Pierce, Canadian military. Now I had none. No identity. And I was wondering to myself, you know, I had a whole lot of friends in the military, how was I going to keep up with them? This was a question that I had to ponder for the longest time. I got home after signing those papers. I was going to be on rehabilitation leave for eight months. So I knew that I was going to have a paycheck coming in every two weeks. But that was going to come to an end very quickly. And of course I had to think about what were my prospects going to be? How do I transition? from a military life to a civilian life. These were questions that I didn't know and I had no answers for. My wife had no answers for me. So as time persisted and we went on, I didn't know what to do. My rehab leave came to an end. My pension didn't kick in for another month. I have to tell you, when the money stops and you're living on your pension, you can't. Your pension is a pittance. I tried to find employment with the skills that I had. Unfortunately, I was unable to, so I finally had to take a job working at a gas station, pumping gas at five and a quarter an hour. This, along with my pension, barely provided me with the necessities of life. It was so bad that at this time, my wife looked at me and she said, I don't think we're gonna make it. And, she separ and we separated. People, Understand this, when you transition from the military to the civilian life, relationships become strained. And we need to find a way to look after that. Hello, we're back and welcome to Lakeland College. Transitioning from the military to civilian life can be a challenge. The online resource that has been developed by Lakeland College will greatly assist those in this process. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to give you the story of the way forward. The what 
It's an online resource that is available to you and your family. And it's an online resource that is there to smooth the transition into civilian life. The WHO. It is open to you and your families. Why? The why is, in fact, we found a gap in that there is nobody providing a service with respect to soft transition skills. It is hoped that our online resource will meet that need. The where? It will be hosted on Lakeland College's Learning Management System, D2L. Access to this resource will be provided. The how? This program or online resource will be in a MOOC, a massive open online course and available to all. General information concerning the online resource is it's free. It is online. It is open continuously in 16 week intervals. It will be in both official languages and access will be readily available during the cohort time or the 16 weeks. If you have any questions whatsoever, please contact me on my cell at 780-581-0989 or my work number 780-853-8438. I will be more than happy to assist you and provide any more information. Come on everybody, take a look. It's well worth it.